Hello there, I'm Gary Sims from Ander Authority. Now recently I did my Truth About Bluetooth 5 video, which I did using two development boards from Nordic Semiconductor. And using those development boards, I was able to test the throughput and the range of Bluetooth 5. Now, after I'd done that, I turned my attention to the Galaxy S8, because the Galaxy S8 has a Bluetooth 5 chip inside of it. So I thought to myself, I'll write an app, and I'll test the capabilities of Bluetooth 5 on the Galaxy S8. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that. So the question is, why can't you use Bluetooth 5 on the Galaxy S8 today? And when will you be able to use it? Well, let me explain. Okay, first of all, a bit of a recap. There's lots of misinformation about Bluetooth 5 kind of going around. There's been some very popular videos made by very popular YouTube personalities who don't actually know what they're talking about. And the main problem is this, is that this kind of two times speed and four times distance that is kind of being advertised about Bluetooth 5 isn't exactly what people think it is. Now, in the testing that I did in my The Truth About Bluetooth 5 video, we see that Bluetooth 5 does give you twice the speed when the devices are close to each other, and that's very good, and that's excellent. However, when you move the two Bluetooth devices further apart, the further apart you get, abruptly that speed starts to drop off. And in fact, when you get to the edge of the kind of the range between the two devices, you'll find that Bluetooth 5 and Bluetooth 4 LE have the same kind of throughput. Now the thing about four times the distance is actually a special mode that's inside Bluetooth 5 called a coded connection that sends multiple bits to make sure that if there's an error along the way that that data is still received. But it has a very, very low bit rate, maybe only 109 kilobits per second. So the idea that you'll be able to kind of take a Bluetooth 5 speaker and connect it to your Bluetooth 5 smartphone, then kind of just go out into the garden, out into your yard and downstairs, and then there's this huge distance between them and you'll still get your music coming out is basically not true at all. You basically get the long distance if you're using a special connecting mode, but at a very low bit rate. If you're using it just for normal audio or for other types of connections, it's gonna be the same as Bluetooth 4, but it's gonna be faster when they're closer together. So I wanted to write an app for the Galaxy S8 to test the throughput capabilities and the range capabilities of uh, the Galaxy S8. So the first thing I did was I went over to Samsung's developer website and I started to look amongst their documentation there about how you access the Bluetooth 5 features on the uh, Galaxy S8 and there was no documentation. At this point I kind of did a double take, maybe I'm mistaken here, maybe there isn't Bluetooth 5 in the Galaxy S8. Uh, so I went over to the Bluetooth website and I found the certification for the Galaxy S8 and it does say in there that there is Bluetooth 5, but there are some conditions. First of all, it does support the new two megabits per second uh, physical connection. So that's really good, that's really what we're looking for, but it doesn't support the coded connection. So there's never gonna be this four times the range support inside of the Galaxy S8, but you will get that faster throughput. So now we know the hardware supports it, I went back again to investigate the software. Now at this point, I started sending emails out and my colleagues and Android Authority started sending emails out to various different people. First of all, I emailed the Bluetooth people themselves. We also got in contact with Google and we also tried to get in contact with Samsung. Now the Bluetooth people emailed me back the next day, very, very politely. They were not able to give me any more information other than what's publicly given on their certification site. However, they were very helpful, but they were bound by uh, different agreements that they can't talk about uh, what Samsung will have or don't have in their phone. But thank you to the Bluetooth people for replying and talking to us. Also, while uh, Chris Carlon, my uh, colleague, was at Google I.O., he found some pretty smart Google engineers and he talked to them about Android support for Bluetooth 5. And the situation is this, the current version of Android, uh, Android N, does not have Bluetooth 5 support in it. However, Android O will have Bluetooth 5 support in it. In fact, it's already in the developer previews and it's already in the Android open source project. You actually go and look at the code that Google have published for handling Bluetooth 5 connections. But, of course, you can't just take Android O, even the developer preview, and put it on an and a phone that's only got Bluetooth 4 in it, like the Pixel or, or a Nexus device, and get Bluetooth 5. To have Bluetooth 5, you have to have the new hardware. So there's no way to actually test 
the Google uh, implementation of Bluetooth 5 on Android on the current crop of phones. You would be able to do it on the S8, but there is no developer preview for the S8 for Android O. We tried, several of us tried contacting Samsung. I emailed the people on their developer portal. Uh, other representatives tried going through their PR people. Uh, and basically the only reply we've got back from Samsung is, thanks for your question, we're looking into it, we'll get back to you. Now some of these questions we sent over two weeks ago and Samsung have not said anything to us. Now the reality is, is if there was a solution for using Bluetooth 5 on Android, on the Galaxy S8, they would reply very quickly with, here's a link to the documentation, please use this SDK, please do this and it will all work, but there has been nothing and that is because there is nothing. Basically there is no support for Bluetooth 5 on the current version of Android running on the Galaxy S8. Now it doesn't mean that Samsung won't publish something, maybe even as I'm publishing this video, they could publish an SDK, they should publish some documentation, but now there is nothing you can use. My feeling is what's gonna actually happen is they're gonna wait until Android officially supports um, uh, Bluetooth 5 when Android O comes out. Now what that means is that if they follow the playbook of last year for when Android N was released, we're gonna see the new release of Android sometime this summer, maybe August, and then it's gonna be a few months while Samsung take Android N and start shipping it on their phone. So in 2018, maybe in January and February, we might start to see Android O appearing on the Galaxy S8 with Bluetooth 5 capabilities built into it. So until then, Bluetooth 5 hardware is in the Galaxy S8, but there's no software to use it. So it remains effectively dead, locked, inaccessible, until Android brings us support, when, and then that new version of Android is installed on the Galaxy S8. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments what you think about this situation. Should Samsung have produced some kind of uh, interim SDK so that Bluetooth 5 could be used on the S8? Should they have been more upfront about saying the support will come in 2018? Should they have maybe just not even mentioned the fact that it had Bluetooth 5 and then surprised us next year when we found it had Bluetooth 5 support? Please tell me in the comments below what you think uh, Samsung should have done. I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority's YouTube channel. Hit that bell symbol so you get notifications whenever we publish new videos. We've got lots of great videos coming for you over the next few weeks. And last but not least, please do go over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.